All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Crater Safehouse Player Home Mod, which is being made by user Nyre. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new player home that is actually in its own unique world space, effectively giving you your own private oasis away from all the trappings of the Commonwealth. And I really do to love this place, as it's not just some, you know, apartment shoved into a building or a bunker shoved underground. We actually have our own little private box canyon with a home, a little farm, even a little pond. It's beautiful. Now, as for how you actually get to this place, we just need to head north of Sanctuary, where we have this new location here for Crater Safe House. And and if we simply turn around, you'll see the cave entrance, which will take us there. Though I'm a little bit wondering why one of my traders is about to go through, and there he went. That's interesting. I hadn't seen that yet. I wonder if he's actually in our player home now. Let's go find out and just simply go through the Crater Safe House cave and we'll be brought to to our own new world. And I really do love this place. I love how open it is, how it basically is your own little private oasis with, with everything you need. We've even got Brahmin in here. It's all very cool. And yes, the trader actually did go through with his Brahmin intact. And then he went through the other cave which I'll talk about in a moment. But here first is our beautiful world, our Crater Safe House player home. It is just spectacular. I really, really do love this place. It is a lovely retreat from our typical world. And what makes it even more interesting is we don't just have this one entrance going in and out. Now, of course, if we want to go back to the Commonwealth, we can by simply going back through this same cave we entered in. But we also have two other cave entrances here, one which will take us to Far Harbor, and another one, which is over that way, I'll show you in a second, which will actually take you to Nuka World. And I, I actually really like that. Now, it will take you to the default spot that you will teleport to if you ever travel to Far Harbor. And it actually has to be unlocked. For instance, if I actually go check out the Nuka World one, I haven't actually gone back to Nuka World since I installed this mod. And so because of that, the Nuka World entrance is boarded up. But before starting up this video, I actually just did a quick fast travel to, to uh, Far Harbor. And now, because I did, we have this cave which will take us to the docks at Far Harbor. And that is quite cool. So all you would need to do to simply unlock Nuka World over here is fast travel to the Nuka World, you know, entrance point, and that's it. Now, the reason why these are blocked off is so that you can't jump the gun and potentially accidentally break a quest by going into Far Harbor or Nuka World prior to actually doing their quests. So that's the reason why. So even if you have beaten them, you still just got to fast travel real quick to unlock these caves. Now, as for the rest of the place here, let's uh, take a quick look inside first our actual player home, which is a lovely little place, a bit cramped, but I actually find it quite cozy. Now we enter here and we can either go into the living area or more of the... Uh, I guess working area and right in front of us is the storage. So we've got first aid, chem boxes, armor, lockers, a nice trunk here, a steamer trunk, and of course some ammo boxes. We then have a lovely couch to watch our television on and then a fully stocked kitchen with a refrigerator, a cooking stove, a trash can, a table we can sit at, and then of course a chemistry station over here. Now, of course, like with many different uh, home mods that are out there, we also have a lot of crap that sadly we can't touch. Like, I would love that uh, Nuka-Cola right there. But, oh well, it is purely decoration. Though I have to say, it is 
gorgeous. They, they, they really did make a very cool, cozy home here. I, I do quite like it. Now, as for the more living area, we come in and have a weapon workbench right here for your enjoyment. And then around here, we have our bed with, you know, all sorts of more decorations there. A variety of armor racks for you to put things on. Some dressers for you to store things in. A nice, secure safe that already has some uh, ammo and money in it. And, of course, an armor workbench here and wall of tires. Who doesn't love a wall of tires? But, yeah, so pretty much uh, the majority of our functional workbenches and tools, etc., and, of course, storage spaces are found inside this cozy, cozy little home. Now, if we exit out, we do, of course, have our Brahmin over here, but also, you may have noticed... We got wild moot fruit over here, we've got some more over there, and if we circle around the building, we have a lot more plants. We've got carrots along this way, we've got some uh, wonderful tato plants here, melons, razor grain, we've got wild corn, and wild carrot flowers, mutated ferns, just pretty much any plant in the game you have out here and of course we also do have a lovely little barbecue area for you to sit at and enjoy your uh, greenery now if we do continue to travel this way we have, of course have some silt bean plants here some lovely fever blossoms we then do have another lovely sitting area by our beautiful pond and then if we head in here we have another little work area of course with a nice couch some more tool chest storage and then a power armor station for you to know you know do all your power armor things then, of course, in the pond, we do have some more harvestable plants of the bloodleaf and lure weed. And if we go along this walkway, we actually go into what I think may actually be my favorite place in this entire little world. And that is the fungus cave. Oh, I love it in here. It's beautiful. And we have, of course, every type of fungus that you could look for in the game inside here. And that... That is just lovely. Got lovely little waterfalls, a little water pool. It's it's cool. I really, really do like this place. It is, for me, really a personal oasis. And it's just lovely to have. And uh, also just gorgeous. You got a lot of fun options here. It is a functional player home with all the workbenches you need. Plus loads of different areas for you to uh, gather plants and crafting materials with. Oh yeah, I even forgot we have these sap buckets here in all. So yeah, you've got basically all you could ever want, including fast travel exits to other parts of the world. Now, as for requirements, really the only requirement that we have for this mod is all the DLC. It requires all of the official DLC to work. Without them, it uh, <laughs> kind of breaks. But, I mean, if you have them all, it's quite a lovely place and a beautiful, beautiful little world. But that really is all I have to talk about this. I mean, it is a lovely oasis unto itself for you to enjoy with all the fixings that you need for a beautiful player home. And yeah, that really is all. So if you would like to... Oh god, Hangman's Alley is under attack. Of course it is. I'm not going to help defend it. But yes, if you would like to check out this place for yourself, and I would definitely suggest that you do. You can check out the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.